Clan riders. Let's go shred some tires. Well, today we're not out with the noobs. I am the noob. So this is going to be an interesting day. Oh boy, we got a group of boys, and these are the race boys. And I am not a race boy. So uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us today, that's for sure. So today we're out with Jared, Jasper, and our new buddy Stefan. And today is going to be a whole lot of fun trying to keep up with these boys. All right, well. Into the shits we go. We're gonna be in for a freaking rough day. I'm a noob compared to these boys. Okay, here goes nothing. Being the noob of the group uh, with the least amount of racing experience and uh, being the slowest rider of the pack, I'm gonna be hanging out in the back, filming the adventures and seeing what goes on with these boys and watching the carnage as per usual. So today the goal is we got uh, three race boys ahead of us. If we can somewhat keep up with them, I'll be stoked. And if you guys watched our last video, we went out with some of my buddies that are newbie. We're gonna go and finish that trail that we started with them because we didn't get through all of it. So that's the goal for today. So I think we're gonna catch up with you guys when we get to the new section of trail. Oh! Okay, buddy. Right, man. All right, well, we're just about caught up to where we left off the last video at, which is crazy. We've only been out here for like an hour. Last time it took us, I think, almost four hours to get here. Brand new territory. No idea what we're getting into over here. This is where that this bike really does shine though, is in that really just super ugly stuff. Definitely where this bike is the best. 
I hear more bikes screaming. What'd you break? I just missed a video. The bike went floating 10 feet in the air. Oh, man. Oh, you broke the subframe? It's like the repair bracket broke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It'll still work for now. Broken subframe, full sand over this on the rock. I don't know why I did that. I it would have looked good, though. What am I thinking? Oh, Jasper. Oh, he's breaking his subframes. I think that's his second or third subframe on that bike he's broken. I guess that's why he says he wants to swap over to uh, aluminum. Because that man can't not keep his subframes in one piece. All right, where are we going now? That was quite the ledge to try and jump up. I'm not gonna lie, a little sketchy. Ugh. Especially because everything's wet today. It's got that slime to it. And we still have a street tire. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't take uh, the newbie guys this any further on this trail because now it's way harder. Way more sketchiness. <sighs> now this is a freaking cool view, boys. Yeah, Jasper just broke his subframe, good old. Good old Jasper. Oh boy, we're going freaking downtown now. Just about stuffed it down that one. Oh, this, whoa! Damn, this really goes down, dude. Now this is pretty cool in here. This would be nuts to try and come up. Be hard for sure. Okay, now let's see what's over in this part of the area. Never been over here either. More freaking crazy descent. What an adventure this is, boys. What an adventure. Probably won't even start now. Oh, for f**k's sake, eh? Well, I can't remember his name, but... The dude with the beta, as you can see, he blew his bike up. Oh, it's the way she goes sometimes, though, you know? Gotta pay to play. Well, at the direction we're going is directly to the road. That's to this, I just don't know if it pops out to the street. It comes within like 100 meters. Why? Why must you do this? Why did you die on me? Yeah. Hey, it could be worse. We could have been in the middle of one of those trails. <laughs> oh boys, this is what it's all about. I'll horn you if his bike starts dragging. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely going right, because if you're going left, that's going back up into the trails. Well, it's showing, this is 350. There's 300 meters for height, right? We're definitely going uphill a little bit, though. Yeah, you're going to have some 
no matter how you go from here, you gotta go up a little bit to go down. So I'm thinking you go out here to that old brandy trail and then it's gonna be whether or not these actually connect to the road or not because they don't show that it connects. So otherwise you're gonna have to just keep pushing up north until you got to here where it looks like it would go in. It sounds like Jasper's going up and around now. He went that way until he went back and now he's over there. Yeah, go see, go see. Yeah, if you want, Aaron, go take, go, go, go take off. Go see. Jasper went that way, go head out that way and go see. see where. We're gonna see if this way leads to the road somewhere that we can just get his bike out. Do you, know to, do you know where the road is? Is there access to the road from here somewhere? We got a guy that's broken down in the woods. We can get to the road from here? Oh, fantastic. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Okay, so we made some friends with the probably five-year-old or something. I think we got a spot. Oh, you didn't leave. Yeah, you can get out there. So right to the road, it's pretty much all downhill. Yeah. And fun is mother here, like, I just talked to them, yeah. I don't know what the f they're talking. You had to play train track conductor a little bit, but. So we left Stefan down at that grassy field. All right, now it's a race back to get the truck. So you can go pick that guy up because he's uh, super far away from where we're actually parked at, but it's just the closest road we could get him to. So now it's just uh, chasing the boys back to the trucks. And then we got to play some road doctor and try and fix his bike and Get back home and all that fun jazz. What an adventure. It's always an adventure when we go with these freaking boys, man. I tell you what, unfortunate for him, I think he blew his engine. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Magic right there. Absolute ma- oh sh You okay though? You're so lucky that you're okay. So lucky. It rolled, like I was in that dead swing, like my back's like it just rolled right on top of me. I shut it off, I got- Yeah, it goes to show things can really go wrong really quickly. 
sketchy stuff, man. Oh, well, I'm a little upset myself. I learned my lesson. Always record, because we missed Jared just doing a handstand over his handlebars. A tree wedged right in his brake and his wheel and locked it right up, and he literally did a freaking scorpion over the handlebars. That was insane. I can't believe he didn't injure himself. What a day. Blown up bike, crashed quad, Jared over the handlebars. Nuts. Well, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure down below, click that like button, click subscribe. Holy crap. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.